I really love it when a YouTuber comes up with an idea like this that should not work at all, but they're so popular that it does. It, it just has such fuck you energy while still being wholesome, and I love that. So today, we're doing Ice Cream Sandwich's Tear Maker. I don't need an intro. I don't need anything. Just check out, look, check out Ice Cream Sandwich, the YouTuber. He makes hilarious short little animations. Check him out. This is inspired by him. I, I don't care. It's, yeah, and hi, I haven't made a video in like five months more than that. All right, first things first. S. No A plus, we're doing S tier. Okay, so let's start, let's start with the simple uh, simple normal door. It's nothing, it's, it's, you know, I like, I like normal doors. It's just like very, very easy to use, very convenient, very nice. Normal door gets an A tier. Revolving doors, fun, can be a little bit of a hassle, but nice and simple. Well, it can be a little bit of a hassle if you use them wrong, or if multiple people are trying to use them at a time. I've never, I haven't used many revolving doors in my life, it's been a while. Um, Fun, simple, probably like the most mechanically simple door there is. I like that. Uh, I'm putting an A tier. Attic doors, F tier. I don't like heights, and I don't, well, not heights. Let me rephrase. I don't like the idea of falling off a ladder, and I don't like the idea of something falling on my head. Uh, either of those things could happen with an attic door involved. Technically, that's just because there's an attic, and admittedly, this is probably the best way to get into an attic. Um, but the concept is still one I do not want, and I will put the F tier, or the the attic door in F tier. Screen doors. They're simple. They do their job well. Uh, you know, keep, kind of like, keep the bugs out. Keep the, let the air flow through. Um, not super effective, of course. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of even, like, tiny little bugs getting in the house. Um, and, you know, the screen door is, like... I don't know it's 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 it works, but it's not really one of my favorites. C tier. Uh, sliding doors. Um, I have one of these in my house, uh, in my bathroom, dividing between the sink area and the toilet and shower area. Um, it's not bad. I've gotten used to it over. I've, I mean, I've been using it for like twelve years. Um, I'm gonna put this in B tier. Uh, it's it's as long as it's a good sliding door. It's it's nice. Um, barn door. I've never used a barn door. I think it's a. I would say it's a D tier. It seems like a worse sliding door. Um, do I want to put screen in B? No, I'll leave screen in C. All right, doggy door. So this one I'm a little conflicted on. It's a doggy door. It's great for doggies. That gets it some bonus points, of course. But other than that, I think I think that's the only thing it has going for it. It is. It's just kind of like I think it's 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 like so like a lot of doggy doors are like such heavy weighty flaps, and it's like they're not the most secure thing in the world. They I I I'm not a fan of it. If it was, if it wasn't for the fact that we all love dogs, including myself, I love dogs, but I don't have a dog door at my house. We have two dogs, so we don't have a doggy door. We just let them out on their own, on our own time. Um, so if it wasn't for that, this would probably be like a D tier, but I'll put it in B. Secret doors. This is easily at least an A tier. I've never had a secret door but it does seem like it would be fun. I think the reason I'm going to skip out on S tier is I feel like, like you see, it's like a shelf door. If you, it seems like it just be a little, it's, it's great aesthetically and very interesting functionally, but I do feel like if you have something like a shelf, it's, you have to be careful. You have to be slow. It's like a, cl it's a big clunky door. You have to be slow opening it so you don't knock anything off the shelf. Um, it's, it's probably very heavy, which isn't really an issue to open, but it just, it, it doesn't flow as naturally as like the, the, the classic door. Um, so I'm leaving it in A tier. Now this, I 
never have seen this door design before. And once I watched Ice Cream Sandwich's video, oh, I did not mean to, I can't put it back. Clear out images. I was like, what is this door? So I looked it up. The evolution door. Watch this. <clears throat> now, this does not blow my mind now that I see how it works. It makes a lot of sense geometrically and architecturally. Uh, it is fascinating, and I really like it. However, it I, I think it's such like it's such a futuristic sci-fi thing um, in, in a sense, I guess. It's simultaneously simple and sci-fi. And I'm not that's go away ads. I'm not inherently against it or for it, but I, I that, that, that part doesn't make me inherently against it or drawn to it. So, now that I understand how it works, it looks very interesting. I would not be against having one of these in my house. Um, the issues I can see with it is you can't crack it open like a door. Um, like, like a normal door. Uh, so you can't have it, like, barely open. Uh, and it's probably not the most... Um, I don't know, it could, it could probably be pretty, like, sound isolating, depending on the material it's made of. Um, it also does require, like, space next to the door, which, uh, if you, like, have the door to your room that comes in at, like, a corner, then if you go, obviously you can't put it on that side, um, because it would just hit the wall, there wouldn't be space for it to fold over here. Uh, I hope my mouse is on the screen. Yeah, it should be, okay. Um... And if you put it on the other side and there is open space, then, well, it's possible you'll have something there already. So you have to plan, if you have this door, you have to plan your architecture around it. Now that I've spent all this time analyzing this door, I think it deserves a B tier. So, with that all said, S tier, no, 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 you know what? I don't feel strongly about any doors. I don't feel super strongly, well, I don't feel super passionate about any one type of door. I... If I had to put one in the S tier, if I had to make a like a, a best door choice, I would honestly go with the simple door. Um, you know, very effective. It's uh, ergonomic. Many people use it, or many people are familiar with how to use it. Uh, does that sound like an obvious thing? It should. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I guess, you know what, I'll leave it in the S tier. Why not? Make it make it look kind of nice. It's like half an arrow here. Uh, we don't need anything. We're, we're not confused by the bifold door, or I think the evolution door. What the heck is it called? Oh, speaking of which, I wanted to make a couple honorable mentions, you know? Um, the bifold door. Uh, let's see. Because I, I don't think you can modify these tier lists, but I wanted to show a couple uh, other things. So, you have you have the bifold door. You know, this is this is nice and simple. I would give it uh, I'd give it a B tier. It's not as good as the classic door, but uh, I have one of these. Again, I also have another one of these in my house, um, and it's it's nice. It, it, as long as you have like the proper space for it, and um, you know, it's it's yeah, it's nice. It's nice when it, when it should be used. It shouldn't be, definitely shouldn't be used all the time, but I think this is, it, it can be good in certain situations. Um, was there any other honorable mentions I wanted to do? I don't think so. I think that was all I wanted. I swear there was at least one more. Well, you know what? That's it for now. This video is weird. And I like that. But anyway, guys. This is Look at Minecraft 869. And, uh... See ya!